my name's Ali, and I'm going to talk about an experience I had that was a real New York City moment for me, which involved a lot of human connection that I never really thought could exist in such a big city. So basically, last year, I was in a taxi cab, and as soon as I got in, I noticed there was a journal on the seat next to me. And it had been left by the person before, I guess. So I picked it up, and I said to the cab driver, uh, is this yours? Do you know who left this? And he said, oh my gosh, there was just this elderly man in here who was on his way to a conference, and he was looking through that, so it must have been important. And I guess he was in such a hurry that he left it in the cab. And I was like, okay. And so I looked at it, and it said, journal of my thoughts. And I thought, well, it's not something you want to lose, especially when you're that old and you've had a lot of thoughts in your life. So I looked at the name, and the guy's name was like, Harold something, I don't know. And so I looked at the number, and I took my phone and I called this guy. And as soon as he picked up, he was like, wait a second, you did not just find my journal, did you? And I was like, I did, I'm in the cab with it, how can I get this back to you? And so we figured something out where I kept it at my house, and then he came, rang the doorbell the next night, and got the journal from me. And I wasn't expecting any sort of reward. I told him on the phone, he said, what, what can I give you? Like, how much money do you want? And I was like, no, seriously, it's fine. I really don't need anything. And so I gave him the journal back and he pulls out of his pocket three iridescent like parakeet feathers. And I was like, oh, okay. And I gave him the journal and he gave me these feathers. And I was like, may I, may I ask what these are? And he said, yeah, so I have a parakeet named Mr. Watson. And he starts telling me the story about this parakeet that he has at home, who is his dearest friend in the world, and his companion while he's by himself in old age, and who he loves so much, and he showed me pictures of Mr. Watson, and like places they've gone together, and then he left me with these three feathers. I don't remember his name, we're never gonna see each other again, but I have them in my desk drawer, and it was a really nice experience.